Okay. Now we're going to play the Apollo 11 experience. Look at the start below to begin. Oh wow, a nice sound. Best experienced wearing headphones. Good thing I got those on. <laughs> Okay, in 1957, Soviet Russia launches Sputnik 1. 1961, Russian Yuri Gargan. Gargan. Gargan becomes the first man in space. For those five years, America was one step behind in the space race. In 1962, American President John F. Kennedy raises the stakes by announcing America's intentions to put a man on the moon. The following speech was delivered to the American people to support this endeavor. Can fully grasp how far and how fast we have come. That's right. But condense, if you will. Hey, look, it's your lamp. Yes, it is. man's recorded history in a time span of about a half a century. It's the lamp that you wanted. We know very little about the first four three years, except at the end of them. Nice. Advanced man had learned to use the skins of animals. Then about ten years ago, under this standard, man emerged from his cave to construct other kinds of shelter. Only five years ago, man learned to write and use a cart to feel. Christianity began last year, fifty two years ago. The printing press came this year. And then less than two months ago, during this whole fifty year span of Good old history there. I like the apartment. Right. Well, the eyes of the Let's go to space. Now look into space, to the moon, and to the planets beyond. I'm going to space, okay, bye. That we shall not see governed by a hostile flag of conquest, but by a banner of freedom and peace. The exploration of space will go ahead. Whether Let's go. We Woo. 
I'm going. I'm going to the moon. Oh wow. <laughs> Pretty cool. <laughs> wow. That's pretty cool. Oh, why'd you stop with the music? <laughs> it's just getting really, really moving. Are we changing the scene here? Yeah. I wasn't about to cry. Date 16th July 1969. I think the momentous, uh, most memorable thing that I can call about that particular day was the Nice. Using a little uh, Google Earth action here. Wow. The rocket and the quietness and see the sun come up and waves rolling in and the evidence millions of people uh, watching, but, but nothing specific, and just so quiet, and to realize that indeed uh, such a contrast is going to take place, all the frantic activity preparing the rocket, but it's so quiet up there for me personally, and that in a very few moments uh, we were going to be uh, departing in a, in a great roar off for a momentous uh, event. Wow. That's cool. I like how they brought it around. Space suit. I got, I got glomets on. Got a really neat pair of glomets. Man, where in the heck did you buy some of those? Those would be great during the winter time. right now 40 seconds away from the Apollo 11 liftoff let's go let's do it astronauts reporting it feels good it does the chair is vibrating pretty good here but, uh, I feel like I'm in a rocket ship I just feel like I'm inside of a closet. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> oh 
gosh, we're going. <laughs> you could just, that's funny. That's probably the smartest thing to do. <laughs> if you're in a rocket, you don't want to see through the front windshield. Your window's closed. He's afraid over there. Oh, uh, yeah. I can see the sun. It's beautiful. <laughs> I like it. I like it. If you like space stuff, this is definitely fun. Christina, you gotta play this. Stabilizers. The music's helpful. I like it. Hey. Hey, Caspisa. <laughs> There's a dog in space. It truly is Russia. Oh, I see the moon. There's the sun, there's the moon, lunar, sonsa, I'm flying on a, in a spaceship, there's my comrades, <laughs> oh, whoa. I think it's beautiful. A 3D photo.